U.S. Marines, both Bravo and Charlie Company, 1st Battalion, 9th Marines, come together to conduct a rocket range outside of Camp Leatherneck, Afghanistan. Every 90 days we're trying to do a weapons reset. So even in combat, some of the weapon systems that may not be as used as much as, for instance, the service rifles, machine guns, and things like that the Marines have been using in combat, we want to maintain their proficiency. So for instance, mortars, we found mortars February 7th, but what we did the other day was our O351 rocket proficiency and also our O352 javelin missile proficiency. So what we did was we did a sustainment training event to make sure that the Marines were proficient at their skills with their weapon systems. Uh, the course of fire is um, from the cold position to the hot position, simulating that the Marines are getting ready to, they're, they're called up, they need to fire at a target, called out by the riflemen. So assault men are usually called up, guns up, rocket up. And from there, from the cold position, they prep, they put their rockets in, get their spotting rounds ready, and then their team leader or a gunner runs out to the hot position, you know, designated by him, himself, or whatever the uh, fire teams out there want them at. And uh, depending on what the target is, right, he'll, he'll uh, pretty much identify a good hot position, call the gunner out, give him an ad rack, you know, alert, direction, distance, range, assignment, and then command and control. He can tell them when he's ready or he can tell them when, whenever the team leader or the uh, fire team leaders want him to fire. All right, um, rockets usually go out to 400 meters with HEDP, 500 meters with the HEAA, and then with our uh, NE rocket that was designed specifically for Afghanistan, it's uh, 250 meters to 300 meters, depending on their gunner. Oh yes, yes, it, uh, it helps with the uh, confidence, you know, shooting multiple rockets. A lot of them have fired five rockets before we deployed. This adds out in some more rockets. Uh, when I was a gunner, I had at least 15 rockets at the end of my term from a deployment. And so I was, I'm very comfortable with it. I'm not afraid of it. I know how to manipulate. Um, the misfire procedures is one of the scariest parts. And a lot of these guys, they've never seen a misfire till now. We had two misfires a day and a uh, little, uh, you know, maintenance problems with those misfires. But other than that, they have yet to see a misfire. But the more rockets, the better. So. With this follow-on training, the Marines can be more confident and effective with carrying out their mission.